Really, the initial assessment is to see whether or not you're a candidate for laser. So what does your optometrist assess during that initial consultation and what requires a more advanced diagnostics and consultation from a surgeon? The optometrist will check the prescription stability. They'll look at if the patient has severe dry eye, um, if there's any early corneal changes or changes on the scans that are definite red flags and that, you know, you're, you're contraindicated for surgery and just a general ocular health. Then when they see me, we go into the scans in more detail. Um, we look for nuances. Um, we also do a dilated assessment. So I have a look at the retina and the back of the eye um, and we recheck the script once you're dilated because it's important to check that the script is relatively stable even post dilation. And then we talk about the options for the patient um, based on their occupation and their personality. So it's a little bit more customer. So really the initial assessment is to see whether or not you're a candidate for laser. We still have patients that come in and they're not a candidate for laser, but then they want to go on to see me for implant or columnar lenses or ICLs. So just because you're not a candidate for laser with the optometrist assessment, it's just a screening. Um, it's basically a screening assessment to see, to give you a ballpark idea of what you may or may not be a candidate for.